This is Luna. Say hi, Luna. These are my co-editors. They help me work on everything channel related. Hi, Smoke. Hi, Luna. Okay, we can go now. Ugh. Oh my god. Alright. Say hi. This is Smoke. Hi, everybody. My co-editors. Hi, my name is Jonathan Musne. I'm a second year PhD student in bioengineering. I'm from Haiti. I recently realized how privileged and lucky I was um, to have a support system always at my disposition to help me um, navigate the difficult times and the obstacles in my career. Um, I also know that not everybody is as lucky or as privileged, so I decided to put together some sort of library of um, advice and you know life story, um, career path of all the wonderful, successful um, black people that I'm surrounded with and hopes that that could be useful to the younger population of black people coming up in their career. Today's video is the second part of a conversation that I was having with a friend of mine, um, Albeo. Bebeto um, about his career path. Um, in this part of the conversation, we dive deeper in how important mental health is to your career and your everyday life, which I think is very important. Um, and we also talk about what his long-term plans are and short-term plans. Make sure to watch um, the previous video for context and for the previous question. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of smoke. One of the points that you touched upon, I think, was like how heavy um, it, how heavy it is on, on your mental, like now that you're real, realizing that your skin color actually has an effect on, you know, your career, your life in general. And I think that's a perfect segue into the next question about mental health, right? Yeah. I, I know that in the black community, especially as Haitian people, we yeah. do not believe in mental health, right? That, hey, doesn't, that doesn't exist. I feel like I'm going through something mentally. <laughs> I'm going to be boy, please. You know, that, yeah. that's what we're used to hearing. Um, but I had to, even like this, I'm, like, I'm still learning. Like, I think COVID has been like a wake up call for all of us that, hey, mm -hmm. mental health is actually important. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, let me stop talking about my, my own uh, experience. I just wanted to know how important it is for you like, to have good mental health, to be successful in your career, in your everyday life. And all this. Dude, I, again, like you said, we're, we're Haitian. We're mm -hmm. tough skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm raised with, oh, I was raised by old people, so I have like, a tough, like an old mindset too. Mm -hmm. Back then, if somebody told me something about, all right, what, what are you talking about, bro? Chill, just like, you're not dead. You know, it's not mm -hmm. the worst that could happen. Mm -hmm. To me, mental health was always like the extreme cases, you know, mm -hmm. the diagnosed case, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. Coming here, I realized how easy it is to be in a situation where your mental is disturbed. Mm -hmm. Um, especially in the type of environment that we live in right now, right? If if this was Haiti, I would probably be in my patio, not surrounded by walls. Mm -hmm. This this has an effect on the on the on the psyche, on the mind, on the heart, on everything. You yeah. don't understand this. Mm -hmm. So as humans, we don't understand these things. So yes, as blacks, bro, we don't take we don't take mental health seriously. And when we try to, we take it the wrong way. We think it's it's doing whatever you want, doing it's not what it is. The way I'm going to describe mental health is how I describe my, my personal mental, okay? You need to be able to be comfortable with yourself. You need to be able to know who you are for you to even, to, for you to even help your own mental. You need to be able to be at peace with yourself for you to be able to um, help your mental. I can't say these things to, to a Haitian parent. I'm sorry. What is he talking about? Get grab your Bible. What, yeah, what, what, what's wrong with the kid? He's, yeah, he's going crazy, right? Yeah. So my thing is, and I'm gonna tell you how I started dealing with my mental health. I had a lot of times on my hand. So mm -hmm. obviously everything I just told you played a, a, a mental role. Mm -hmm. And it took it took a toll on me physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. Where like I'm not happy. 
you know, I'm not like, it's not that I'm happy, I'm not like sad or like, but it's just like, bro, like, I got stuff to do, bro. I'm not like, I'm not making time to speak to anybody that I care about because mm -hmm. my priority is bills, 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 pay bills, pay bills, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not taking 20 minutes of my day to just relax and hang out with my friends, which is what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I'm not exercising, mm -hmm. right? So when all of these started happening to me, I started reading more. I started looking into things more and the universe itself started bringing me more and more and more messages. Mm -hmm. So, and then fast forward, this is how I started dealing with myself. I started reading, I started meditating. I started mm -hmm. creating routines. Mm -hmm. I started, and again, obviously I'm the kid that didn't believe in these things, mm -hmm. but I said, let me try it. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. They said it takes 30 days. Let me do it for these 30 days. I'm, I'm going to take this challenge and do it mm -hmm. and see how I feel. And as I'm doing it, it's, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm mm -hmm. not feeling like super energized, like I could jump, I could fly. No, I'm just feeling more at ease, more peaceful, more calm. Like something would happen, I'd be like, it's okay, bro. And then the mm -hmm. fact that I would say it's okay, mm -hmm. something positive would have happened right after, and I would see it. Instead mm -hmm. of being focused on that negative, so much, the mind's a machine. Mm -hmm. You motivate the mind, the mind will stay motivated. You put the mind down, the mind's going to stay down. Since then, I'm always into, you'll see around me, is my journals. New journal? Okay. These are going to be worth a lot of money, by the way. Mm. My journals, my books, like some of them I took off the cover, so because... It's distracting. I have like a little shelf. I'm starting to collect my books. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, for, for, for another thing I do is I try to paint. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I, I never knew how to draw, by the way. Yeah. I never, ever, ever, ever know how to draw. This is, some, this is something I learned during quarantine. Let me see if I can find something else for you to show you. Oh, this is something else I picked up. And this is just to tell you, like, there's different ways to cope with your mental. You need, to, you need to find who you are. Yeah. My Rubik's cube. Yeah. I never leave home without this one. Okay. What I'm hearing is that like you need you just basically need to find the things you Ooh. enjoy. Yeah. yeah. The things you enjoy, and then make sure that you make time to do these things because sure. that's what's gonna keep you going. You're not just this a a machine made to pay bills and then yeah, you know exactly and repeat. Yeah. 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 So because if, yeah, if you do that, you're yeah. gonna destroy yourself. You yeah. Know? You're gonna destroy yourself. You need pleasure. You need focus, you need patience, you need hard work, you need all of it. You mm -hmm. don't just need one. You need happiness and sadness. You mm -hmm. need to be sad some days so you can enjoy how great you feel happy. You need to miss someone so you can know how much you love them. You can't, mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 a it's a balance. Yeah. So okay. be nice, be nice to yourself, be gentle to yourself. That's how I cope with mental health. Yeah. Um again, some cases are gonna be different than the other ones, but if you start gentle, if you start kindly. Don't have to be, again, it's easier to be rude to ourselves. Like, oh, you're so stupid. Well, words matter. I'm mm -hmm. learning this every day. Again, you know me. I'm someone that says whatever comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. But I'm learning that nowadays words matter. Yeah. Words are a, fo a form of power. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I have to, I'm learning how to watch what I say, even when I'm joking, mm -hmm. even to my loved ones. The, the people that know me the best, Mm -hmm. Or the ones I watch my mouth the most with because my words mean mean something to them. Mm -hmm. So words matter. So if yeah. you don't call don't call yourself stupid. Yeah. You know? Don't and don't also baby yourself and say it's okay every time. It's, yeah, yeah. You gotta be able to say, hey, Jonathan, hey, Albert, hey, this is what it is. Yeah. Tell yourself the truth. Yeah. Except again, it. it's a balance, like you just said, you know. Of knowing mm -hmm. when to push yourself and when to be yeah. nice to yourself. Yeah, yeah. I I'm yeah. very pro therapy. So like like especially yeah, for yeah. us young Haitian people, I think we all need therapy because that's not yeah. a thing that was available to us or even recommended to us. And we have a lot of trauma that we're working and, through. Uh, so. We do, we do. Yeah, and the thing is, we 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 were used to it, where it's like oh, it's not. We don't even know it's trauma. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how crazy it is we don't even know mm -hmm. it's trauma mm -hmm. so again just to say this therapy is not for crazy people yeah no like, it's for therapy, like even if you're healthy is, yeah therapy is for yeah. you to, to to release yourself to speak to you know 
to be able to to see what if you can't if you don't know what the cause is, then yeah. we will help help you find yeah. the cause. But for the us best, patients, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say the best objective way to see it is you're paying this person to listen to you, right? At yeah. least you're not burdening a friend to just listen mm-hmm. to you for free. Because sometimes Absolutely. you feel like you're a burden by just talking yeah. to other friends. But this person, that's their job. Their job is to listen to you. And on top of that, they have qualifications to help you work through these feelings and these, like this trauma and all of this. So it's, yeah. there's there's no reason not to at least try it. Um, yeah, so I'm, big, I'm big on therapy. I'm big on therapy. Yeah. therapy. We're getting closer to the end of the interview. We're going back to like you, your career, like, you know, more exciting things. Um, where do you see yourself going like short term and long term? So like, I don't know, maybe next year and the next five to 10 years. Where do I see myself next year? Next year, I see myself moving up in my position. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say this with confidence. Next year, I see myself moving up in my position. Next year, I see myself learning more than I know now. Mm-hmm. to being better at my career because my career is something that I'm co- constantly learning. I mm-hmm. need to know what's happening around the world to be able to make decisions. My yeah. career has to do with making decisions. So next year I see myself moving up. I see myself next year. I'm 20, this year I'm 26. Next year, next year is my prime year. This is when I actually become who I'm supposed to be. Vi- visually to everyone. Um, what do I see myself in? Again, I'm maybe I, was, I think I'll still be in my current job. Um, but I'll just move up. I'm obviously going to get a better pay, all of that. Mm-hmm. But in my, in my own life, I'll be more stable. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be at the point where I can start planning uh, stuff like family or mm-hmm. um, better in my relationship life. I, that's what I see next year. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have follow up interviews, so it's gonna be a good checkpoint for you to see. Yeah, no, what no, 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 no. Last year and where nah. you are. And oh, two, two follow up. Yeah, no, two follow because you gotta hit me up in five years. Of course, you. of course. Where do you see yourself in five years? Actually, what are you talking about? Well, I see myself in five years. In five years, I see myself again. I'm not gonna say some shit like I see myself by the beach. <laughs> no, five years. What am I? I'm third. I'm 25 right now. I'm gonna be third. I'm gonna be 30. Five years, I see myself at the peak of everything that I, I've ever walked for. My firm is going to be open up. My businesses are going to be running. Um, my family is going to be fully healthy and stable. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to be the richest man alive or mm-hmm. I'm going to be the biggest businessman, but I'm going to be at the point where, if you want to put it at a, at a number value, where... I'm comfortable making any decision for my life and it won't and at any time it won't disturb anything around me. Mm. To the point the freedom where, to do what you want to do. The freedom to do what I want to do. Um mm. next year in five years, I'm definitely not gonna be in New York. I'm probably gonna be um depending on where my wife wants to be, probably somewhere in Europe. I wanna travel around Asia and Africa. So, so you see yourself business. You see yourself being married by the time you're there. Yeah. I mean so I'm not gonna marry. Have a, a, and you have a girlfriend right now. I, I hope she watches I'm, this video. I'm so not going to marry. So plans. Sure. the other thing in five years, this is my personal goal for myself too. The most mm-hmm. important one in five years, my, I, I will have a school established in Haiti. Mm-hmm. And by school, it's not like a regular typical school, more like an orphanage slash school slash academy. Okay. That's, that's, that's a very big goal for five years. If it's possible, it's possible. If it's not, then it's not. But that's okay. that's what that's what, that's you you that's know where it is. You'll meet me. You'll you'll meet me down there. Okay. You'll meet me down there. All right. Okay. That's 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 the goal. That's the that's the target. Mm-hmm. That's the target. In five mm-hmm. years, all of that should be established. Yeah. All of that. And again, not saying it's the biggest out there, but it's going to be established to the point where we're bringing that value back to these kids. I can't hold on. I can't hold on to everything that I'm going to get in the, in the next couple of years and not, and not give it back to them. Mm. Okay. That, that's, that's very selfish of me if I never did that. Okay. Oh, one, one quick thing that I forgot to say, because I, I love um, giving credit where credit is due. Um, I think I'm going to call this channel um, Startup Success, a.k.a. SOS. 
and that was your idea and i thought that was a wonderful idea <laughs> it no it's 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 you know it's like calling it sos it's an easy name to remember and it's an acronym it's it's cool and it already exists so it's I mean, like i thought that was very creative so yeah well just, that, that doesn't cool. come from me just thank you but that doesn't come from me i yeah. asked you what did you want to do yeah and you said I want to start speaking to young, successful Black people and successful professionals and see where they go. But I was like, but, and I told you this. I was like, but I'm not there. I'm not at that five-year point yet. He yeah. would have said, yes, but this is the start. Yeah. This is where you, we start. And this is then we come back to it. So I was like, this is definitely the start. This is the SOS. Yeah. This is the start of yeah. success. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, for me, it's like, I, I, I was happy to share my life with people, to tell them my jobs. Yeah. How yeah. I struggled, where I am now, which is not not crazy. It's good for me, but not crazy. But yeah. I'm also happy to share my dreams so they yeah. can see it later on. Yeah, yeah. And so they know it's possible. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't. I want you. I want people to understand that. You, yes, you can look at the Bezos. You can look at the Gates. You can look at the Jobs. You can look at the Kanye West. You can look at the JCs. You can look at the the. Uh, Gabona, the guy in Africa, Gabona. Mm -hmm. You can look at these guys, but you can also look at the Jonathan Muslims. You can look at the Albert Emmanuel Fasso. You mm -hmm. can look at the guys that are a little bit closer to you, maybe not billionaires at the time, yeah, but still successful in in a point where like they have their financial and lively freedom, and mm -hmm. that's what the end of success means. It's just being free to be who you are. I don't know how you were meant to be, whatever, but who you are. Bro. That's, a, okay? that's a great definition. Life is all about abundance. You have everything you need. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have it, you start thinking about it, you make it. Because mm -hmm. life even gave you, life is like a, life is like an anime character that has his own pencil. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's a character. And he's the moment he realizes that he's, the, the moment he realizes he's missing something, he draws it in his own life. We are, we are, we are the, the observer, the creator, and all of that, all at once. So, mm. Yeah, that's a okay. that's that's a great um, advice. I'm not even gonna ask you the last question because that kind of answers. I was just gonna ask if you had any advice for like a young black person who you know who's just starting with things interested in a career path or you know general advice. But that was a good general advice. But thank you again for. For making time for this i know like no. everybody's very busy everybody's just doing their thing so like taking like we were playing on talking for like maybe like 30 minutes we ended up speaking yeah for maybe I, I didn't even i didn't even realize yeah. that yeah so that was Crazy. a very very fun conversation i will try to upload the audio part of this as a podcast again like i said earlier mm -hmm. and maybe trim down the most you know important points into like a 20 minute video that I upload. On, on That's going to be hard. Cause I, cause I yeah. speak a lot. Yeah. But you know, I'll try and stay like, maybe like for the YouTube video, I'll try and cut the parts that are relevant to the questions. And then for the podcast, you can just, because we started talking about a lot of things. So it's all about. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we got more though. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're definitely going to do follow up interviews and I'm looking forward to seeing like all the projects that you have for like I got you. five years. Um, it, I, I have some, I have some in less years, but if we if um, anytime yeah, if, anybody, if, if you, yeah if you have anything happening like yeah. we'll, we'll just yeah we can just share it. 